Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to my Let's Play of EU4, Mandate of Heaven. Playing as the Mighty Manchu, and we're getting pretty big. In fact, we may actually be the biggest name on the map right now. I don't know, Russia's pretty big font as well. But, all that being said, we've just got a lot of empty land, to be perfectly honest. Not not much going for it, so... Our economy's not that great, our... Uh, but yeah, so we're working on it. That's what we're working on right now, is to try to get the economy a little bit better. Making 0.03 ducats a month. Oh, we're actually losing 0.07 ducats a month right now. So our uh, forces are completely supplied. They are, so that's good. I'm going to bump up the root out corruption just a little bit more. Hopefully we get rid of all that entirely. In fact, it's actually, we're actually at zero corruption right now. Um, so is this actually costing us more money? I feel like it shouldn't be because... We're gaining 0 0.05 and 0 0.03, so we're gaining 0 0.08, and we're losing, oh, we're at 1. Okay, I looked at that wrong. We technically have a positive amount of corruption, apparently, even though it says 0, 0.0 currently, which is odd. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like we should actually be already at 0, but I guess not. Can I let this road for a little bit longer? Truce expired. All right, that's uh, Arkin down here. Sure, we'd love to go after you at some point, but not right now. We can't afford it. All right, now our corruption's... Okay, there we go. So I can go ahead and max the slider out, and it's not costing us anything anymore. Cool, so we're back to making a little over a ducat a month. If we get over two ducats, we can actually uh, do our colonist again. Getting a teeny tiny bit from our vassals, not much. How many more ships do we need to reach our uh, force limits? One more, I believe. No, that's not going to tell us until we get over 20, but I think it's just one more. Uh, Yarkin, 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 okay. Change the tribute to admin power. Speaking of admin power, we are uh, still very much in the hole on the technology. In fact, we're about to max out the printing press stuff, so we need to really start embracing that soon. Unfortunately, that costs, so that's a thing to worry about as well. How are we looking on ideas? I forget where we left off. We still get one more colonist, and we can get the naval force limit modifier, which would be kind of cool. Still technically probably should select another idea, and actually, probably an idea that will help us on the money side of things would not be a bad idea. No pun intended on the not a bad idea part, by the way. <laughs> the year inflation reduction? Mm, it's a thing. Autonomy change? It's not too bad, I guess. Land, land maintenance modifier? It's tempting to take this economic ideas. We could also do trade ideas, I suppose. More global trade power, but we're not really huge on the trade side of things. Um, what are we furthest behind on technology-wise? Admin. So we really need the admin big time. Although our next leader will be pretty strong on the admin, assuming he survives. So that's a thought as well. And we're currently focused on admin at the same time. I don't know. Getting an idea will help us um, make more money, which will help us embrace the technology, which will help us get more technologies. So it all kind of goes hand in hand. So just a flat plus 10% national tax modifier right now would be what? A ducat, I think. We're making 12. So I'm assuming it would be 10% more, so maybe triple the tax? No, that's surely that's not right. That can't be right. I think it's 10% of this. So it'd be what? 1.24 ducats right now? Eh, that's a thing. It's not amazing, though. All right, we'll let it run for a little bit. We'll figure that out. Shortly, if we start maxing out our uh, points here, which we got a, quite a ways to go for that, then we may move some stuff around. And of course, now our horde unity is starting to get towards that 50 mark where it starts to be bad for us, which means we need to go war again, unfortunately. All right, let's go and get that last ship. Just get our force limit completely maxed out. Make sure our trade ships are uh, are done. 
Uh, I do want you to go home at war, and how are y'all in repairs? Looks like y'all are fine, so we're good there. All right, so Orat is, oh, they're coming back. Uh-oh. Um, so they need another two per. So you split off two. Oh, there's where all my infantry are. To go there. You need to split off a couple as well. I guess we'll do calves from here. Maybe they move faster. I think they do. Those the same ones? Those are different ones. Okay, one of you goes up there. Uh, and then we need two more. Right, come down to there. And that should get us where we need to be. The Sarag Yogurt guys are about to pop. Oof. Um, Ming is right there to help us out if, they, if they're so inclined. How big is that going to be? 11k. Alright, so you can take the rest of this and move you down to here. Our missionary is almost done. It's going to be nice. There they are. Come on, Ming. Help me out. Not yet. All right. Fair enough. Uh, this is desert, so should be fine with our army going in there. Oh, there goes Ming. Get on him, Ming. Get on him, Ming. Get on him, Ming. Get on him. There we go. Thank you, Ming. I appreciate it, sir. All right. What is next? Now are we getting rid of Oirat? It looks like we are. Or maybe not. They're still yellow. Siberian separatists. All right, fair enough. Tumen and Urtish. Is that up here? It is. And they need, I think, a lot. Um, more than we can do. Because what is it? What do we need? Uh, we need forty each, and I think the most we can do is twenty. I think that's the highest you can do is. So that's what five I believe so not really gonna help us um what else could we do with these guys how big are they gonna be 14k I guess just move these guys back up there to jump on them when they pop that's one way to handle it I suppose uh human urtish so you can go to exery and be in range of both of those uh too few rivals really interesting I guess we will rival Russia In fact, we have a free diplomat, so let's go let's go look at Russia and we will I guess embargo you. And then I suppose we will insult you. Migrating tribes. Tribe state gains ten loyalty and we gain some manpower. Nice, that'll help us for our mission actually. In fact, that might just about put us over. Right, come on, where's our Honorable people, gain some prestige. I appreciate it. Oh, there it is. Send an insult. Five, four, three, two, one. Send an insult. Guess if you're idle, we'll go ahead and bring you back entirely. Um, kind of curious if we can declare war on them for anything tribal. Manpower has recovered. That gives us less unrest, which is going to be very helpful and more tax modifier very very good so that does bring it up to 15 percent but it is only like uh 1.2 ducats so that's why i was right about that part makes sense um so we can select another mission colonize something unite the manchu tribes the rival of our rival uh malaka's opinion of manchu is at least 100 i think that one we can do 
A little bit of diplomat batter, diplomatic power. Not much, but uh, Malacca. Where is Malacca? I think it's down here, actually. Up oh, there it is. You improve relations with you. There we go. That'll work. Um. Hmm. What else do we need to do right now? Really need to think about going to war again, unfortunately, just so we can get the uh, Horde Unity popping back up. Um. Like, how could we go to war? Wow, Chagatai is tiny now. They got eaten up a lot by Russia. So we don't have a diplomat, so we'll wait a few more days. We'll see what it looks like. What the war scene looks like. I think our uprisings are well enough underhand for now to uh, potentially go after something. I mean, the Siberian ones we need to worry about, but not too badly. War rat's about to be gone. There it goes. Mongol, we can just go ahead and just scoosh around to get on right in that second. Uh, Mongol would be Irene. Truthfully, actually, we could probably just lower maintenance for a bit. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, if I was going to do that, though, I don't want to be on the border. I guess you can come over here. I'm not really worried about the Mon the Mench or sorry, Ming right now, so I think I'm okay with the rest of the guys. Uh, actually, what we need to do, we need to see what we can go to war against. So you, we can do tribal conquest, but just show superiority, so that's not going to help us. And we're not going to do that anyway. That would be kind of crazy. You, uh, we can actually do reconquest, okay. And we have tribal feud, so that's good. They're going to pull in Yarkin, but they're not going to pull in the other guy, which would be really bad. And I don't think we can declare war on you because you are still a... Oh, we can. Okay. Um, what about you? No, just so superiority. So Chagatai would be an option. Are we still at truce with them, though? They're at truce until 1600. So a couple more years. That's actually something we can probably wait for. Because what we're losing, what, yearly? Um, no, that one. That one. Five yearly, so that would put us just a little below the 50 mark. Hmm. Maybe we do need to go to war with somebody now. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take our free diplomat and we're going to start building a spy network here just so we can get a, a claim there and make it an option. In fact, I'm going to pull one of the other guys back. Oh, not that one. Uh, that one. <laughs> pull you back and we'll, we'll build a spy network on uh, Russia as well to get a claim there. Not that we're going to go to war, but at least we'll make it an option. Uh, World Marifers, uh yeah, I think we... I didn't mean to dismiss that, but we'll, we'll start it ourselves. And, Six days. Ryuku, whatever. Come back here. Why can I not click on you? Am I literally just having trouble clicking on you? There we go. Wow, that was weird. Uh, Royal Merch. Alright, so how much money are we making now? Just over a ducat, probably? Oh, wow, three ducats. We're, we're, we're rolling in the money now. Um... Okay, so what to do, what to do. I guess go ahead and lower maintenance for a couple months at the very least. All right, we got a free Diplo, so we can go ahead and do the spy network here. Get us a claim over there just to have it. Not that we're gonna do it, but just wanna have it just in case. Uh, Ayothai declared war on the new enemy, Malacca. Alright, fair enough. That printing press is literally nowhere. But, good news is, is that nobody around us... Oh, Russia has it. uh -huh. So we actually are going to start getting it. Interesting. Very, 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 very tiny amount, though. 
I wonder if, uh, if Kurgan, oh, that's Russia. If, uh, Swartz and Chagatai. Wait, it's not all Russia. Why does it say Russia everywhere? Oh, Chagatai's down here. I was like, what? All right, so Russia does have it in a couple places. I wonder if they get it, if that would mean that if we take it from them, we actually get it in our land somewhere, like technically in our land. I don't know. Not that big of a deal, though. We need to, uh, we really need to boost the, the diplo, or the, uh, domestic development is the word I'm trying to think of. Goodness, I cannot talk today. Uh, we need to build the, de uh, development here, probably to get the boost here. In fact, if we boost it here, it would give us what percentage? Why am I not seeing it on there? Printing press, plus 9.33. So we would need to boost it... 11 times. Wow, that's like a lot of power. Hmm. It's starting to become maybe not as worth it as it was before. Sorry about that. Bump the mic. Hope that didn't sound too bad. Um, what about any of these other lands? Like, if I boost it here, it only goes up by 0.15. So, 1.5, I mean. So, it's technically only worth it in my capital. Alright, another uh, conversion. I guess we'll keep doing them down these that are land on my land so that uh, I don't have to worry about the rebels or I can stomp on them if they come up um, sure I'd love to build some buildings but none of them are amazingly profitable at the moment so I guess we just build up and repay off of that other loan for now get it out of the way before we go to war or anything all right so how are we looking so Barry is at 9.2 Could, um, could boost autonomy. These guys only have like six development. They're like literally doing nothing for me. But yeah, that's probably what we should do. Just, just get rid of them, buy us some more time. They're like worthless to me anyway, so... So let's stop, drop, start dropping that. Mongol, we could stomp on pretty easily as soon as we go back up to full maintenance. Pretty much all the rest of these are within range of jumping on if we had full maintenance, so that's fine. Actually, you know, let's check something real quick. Irene. Why is Irene not happy with me? Uh, I know you're right here in front of me and I'm just not seeing you. There you are. Uh, let's see, what are you at? Unhappy about. The Horde Unity. Okay, that's starting to rise. The Religious Unity. Okay, fair enough. Not accepted cultures, really. And some intolerance. Well then, the culture thing we might actually be do something be able to do something about. Oh, uh, that to be Tingri before we can change the culture. Interesting. Where is culture? Culture's under. It's not religion, is it? What is it? I actually don't remember where culture's at. Government. Okay. Accepted cultures. So we could accept some of these guys. Um, what is the bonus if they're accepted culture? No, it doesn't really tell me. Um, this belongs to the same culture group as Machu, so it gives us reduced penalties. Reduced penalties, huh? All right, so let's go to the Korean guys real quick. Maybe that's been part of our problem. Not accepting their culture. Local unrest plus two. Local tax modifier. Okay. Good to know. So let's try accepting Korea first and see what happens. Like, where are we at on the money side of things? 13.08. So we accept Korea, which makes perfect sense. How many accepted cultures can we have? Zero of four. So Korea makes perfect sense. Fourteen point three five. So that actually gave us ten percent more right there alone. In fact, it probably actually increased our. Like if we go through these, Korea is now accepted, and I bet our ships, which are currently, there they are. Oh, no, it did not raise my force limit yet. I wonder if it will do it at some point. 
Mm, not sure. Uh, confirm yearly tribute. Okay. Truce expired with Ayothaya. Chagatai. Because there's our Chagatai Yarkin one. Okay. That's perfect. So it actually probably is a good time to go to war with them. Get our Horde Unity back up. So on that note, let's move everybody over here. Um, let's check the ledger to see how much, who has what military at the moment. Chagatai. Actually, Yarkand. 14,000 troops, okay? Good to know. And Chagatai. Zero. Zero troops. So literally, we only have to worry about Yarkin at the moment. Although Chagatai will probably start building them very, very quickly. So this troop right here can probably just go right into Chagatai. Chagatai. I can't talk. Um, so that's fine. Uh, let's not move you yet, though. The rest of you guys probably just come through Yark and see if you can stomp on those guys. Probably, actually, what I'll do is... I'll bring you guys all together. Come on. All three of you. Um, here... And maybe split you in half. That'd be 12k and 12k. I can send this 8k and 8k down through there. It would be 16k total. So I think that's fine. So these two 8k's come in through the top. And then you're going to come in through that direction. And in the meantime, we are going to go ahead and raise maintenance as well. Still making some money. That's good. All right, actually, before we declare this war, um, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Uh, hopefully next time is a little bit more exciting. I do appreciate you watching, and I do hope you join me again. Thank you, and goodbye.